Hi guys, I have another Copic colouring and card tutorial for you today. I am colouring Eggster Bunny by some odd girl. I'm using a Copic Multiliner 0.3 to make those stripes. And I really like this image because you can really uh, make it versatile. You can make a lot of different Easter cards with the same image just because you can variate the pattern that you add on your egg. I really enjoy that. Um, when it comes to colouring, uh, as you might have started to notice, I have started to have a lot of fun trying to do new techniques. One of the techniques I'm using here is to not colour the shadow or to the edge, but leave a little bit of light. Um, this kind of helps the image to get a little bit rounder. It also... Uh, kind of gets the illusion of having two different light sources. And I learned this from Sandy Alnock. And if you haven't seen Sandy Alnock's uh, coloring, I really urge you to go and watch them because she is awesome. Um, she's a very talented uh, designer and, and lady and I learned a lot from her. Well, um, when it comes to the egg, I do the same thing here, where I try to put the shadows a little bit uh, from the border, just to get that extra roundness in my image. And then it's not much more to talk about, just colors. And I had a lot of fun doing this. And my uh, standard clip showing you that I actually do cut out all my images by hand. I'm using a Cutter B scissor. I really, really like it. I had it for quite some time now, but it's starting to dull down, so I think I need to replace it. But had it for a couple of years and using it almost daily. I kind of like my scissor. Uh, here is the card and all the materials that I'm using for that. I am making my own sentiment with some uh, Lawn Fawn alphabet set. And I'm doing this because I wanted kind of a thinner Easter greeting and I didn't have one. And I really, really love having um, multiple of these different sorts of alphabets to be able to do that. And Lawn Fawns are really great because they have multiple of letters. So you can kind of add your own, do your own sentiment and you don't have to kind of replace it. It's just one stamping, one go. Today I'm making a four bar card and I'm using two different Summers of Stamps cardstock, two different greens because they actually both matched the papers that is from my mind's eye. It's actually not an Easter paper, but I went through all my paper stacks and I found this really beautiful, colorful paper and it just screamed Easter for me. So I thought, why not use that? Uh, the dimension of a four bar card is four and seven eighths by three and a half. So my mat is four and three quarters by three and three eighths. And my sentiment is a three and a quarter by three quarters. And the mat for that is a three and a quarter by seven eighths. And the uh, pattern paper is cut to three and a quarter by four and five eighths. So a lot of numbers, but it's quite simple. I usually just do two sizes of cards, four bar and uh, the standard A2 size. When you do a four, four bar card, you want to cut your cardstock to four and seven eighths by seven, and then you score it at a three and a half, or as my scoreboard has the four bar um, kind of place so it's quite simple to just make the card base. I think that is a Nina Solar White cardstock 80 pound that I'm using for the base. Then I'm just gonna layer all the papers and the sentiments with the help of my tape runner. I really like to try to keep my four bar cards quite thin because they easier go through the mail when I do that and but I'm, I am, though, 
actually putting that little bunny onto some foam that's the 3m foam tape i'm doing that to get kind of a little shadow beneath it it helps it stand out from the pattern paper which i really really like but that was the card for today thank you so much for watching if you liked it please thumbs it up it means a lot to me if you have any questions just comment down below down below in the description you find a link to my blog where you find all the details about the card you can also find all the details and supplies about the cards in the description part too but thank you again and bye